I have a list of student names, but I want to put them into a Google form. What you'll notice though is that I have first and last name in separate columns. And if I want to put in my Google form, I need them to be together. So I'm going to go to any blank column, any blank cell. I'm going to start with an equal sign. And then we're going to click on the first name. So I'm going to say equals what's in A2. This is called cell referencing. I'm going to refer to whatever is in A2. And so when you say and, you're going to put the ampersand symbol because I want whatever is in A2. And now here's something to remember is that anything that is text has to go in quotations. All text strings go in quotations, including if you just want a space bar. So between the first and the last name, you want a space bar. That space bar will have to be in between quotations. So I'm going to put a quotation. I'm going to hit the space bar. I'm going to hit another quotation. I'm going to use the ampersand symbol because and... I want the first name and I want the last name in between there being a space. So it's the first name and a space and the last name. So each time I say and, I'm going to put in the ampersand. So you see I have my ampersand and I'm going to do another cell reference where I click on the last name. So you see I have cell reference, it equals first name and quotation, space bar, quotation, and the cell reference for the last name. And when I push enter, it will show their names put together. So let's do that again. I say equals the first name and quotation, space bar, quotation, and the last name. And I'm just clicking on those, push enter, and I'm going to get it. Now I have a long list of names, and I don't want to put in this formula all of those times. So if you single click on the cell, if you double click, it goes back to editing and you're able to edit the formula. That's not what you want to do. You want to single click on the cell. Well, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner, just real careful here, you see this little square. And as I hover over the square in the bottom right hand corner of the cell, my cursor does change where I can pull it down. And you'll see that this is copying and pasting the formula all the way down my list of names. So now that I have my list of names, I'm going to highlight them. I'm going to copy the ones I want to put in my Google form. And in the Google form, I have a multiple choice question. Now it could be multiple choice, it could be check boxes, or it could be drop down. Either of these would work for this. And where it says option one, I click, I highlight it, and then I control V paste. Now I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use Command V. Control V paste. And you'll see with one click, Control V here, that I get all of the names in this multiple choice on the Google form from when I had the names separated on the spreadsheet.